Hello everyone and welcome to my world of imagination, to the mind of Eve. Let's see what we're going to create today. I am going to be using an amazing tool which is called the Master's Touch Fine Art Studio Oil Pastels. And these are amazing tool because they're oil based and they have a nice um, flow to them and color. Before we start a piece, we start with a blank canvas. So we're trying to channel into the mind and focus on some peaceful, beautiful things. And I think I'm going to channel a flower. So we're going to start with our red color. We're trying to portray what's in our mind into a physical manifestation. That's easier said than done, but just follow the flow of your intuition and the inspiration of the vibrancy of the colors. And you'll be surprised, surprised what you're going to be able to create. Don't follow any rules. Just follow your creative impulses creative juices. Try to start with large visualizations and then focus on small details at the very end. So I'm trying to channel very large petals with darker hue. Imagine having an oil paint within your hands grip. You don't need a paintbrush for this because the illusion of the oil paints will be created with a crayon like feel. And and the beauty of using oil pastels, it's blendable. You could blend multiple colors to create the hues that are present in your mind. We're converting something from the abstract into something tangible. From our subconscious surrealism into reality. Just go with the flow. Sometimes you're Mind sees one thing, but your hand wants to create another thing. Let it create. Let it, let it ride. Let it, let it be. It's as much a surprise to the artist as to the audience as to the final product. We don't really know how it's going to end up until every single detail is in place and we feel satisfied with the end result. Get a good base. It's all about layering. It's all about layering one layer at a time. It's very therapeutic, very calming. And see, now I'm adding this pink on top of this red, and this is where the fun begins. See how it's beginning to glide? And the blending begins. We're starting to blend. Use long flowing strokes. And put the pastel in the driver's seat. They are your co-navigators. They will get you to the final result. Let them do their work. I 
white you should always have in abundance because that's your friend this is what's going to create highlights that's what's going to create depth it's going to create dimension Cover the surface areas. See how the magic of pink appears? Just a little white on top of red and bam! We have pink. We're going to go deeper in, in, in shades in the center here as this is our focal point. It's kind of like a water lily. Kind of like a water lily. You could see like a pond. See the frogs. The fireflies, the swans. All trying to get their attention from this beautiful flower. It's like a majestic flower. And depends on how the sun hits it, the hues become different. Some oranges. Probably this is like a sunset scene. The sun, the sun is probably setting on the horizon and you get these warm, beautiful hues. just can't replicate the magnificence of the sunset. We can only try. We can interpret what we see. Sometimes that's incredible in and of itself. Let's put some yellows now. Artwork is great when it mimics reality, that's your style, that's your choosing, but it's all about interpretation. It's how you see the world, through your own lenses, through your own vision. The same lily, the same flower can be seen in hundreds of different ways, and that's perfectly fine perfectly acceptable with the universe. I think you do, as an artist, as a painter, I started out with realism, pure realism. Once you have a base in mimicking exactly how things look, mimicking the exact shades, then you become elevated to another level of interpretation, of using those rules, of using those guidelines to create something totally original, totally divergent from exactly how one thing looks into something that's totally transformable, ethereal, I could say one of a kind. Just like all of us are unique, our paintings are unique, our creations are unique. We all have something to say and we all have something to contribute to the world. This is like a morning flower, and in the morning, each flower has some dew, some water 
droplets on them. And we're going to try to mimic some water droplets. They're transparent in nature. Gonna create the suppleness of them being fed from the rain the night before. The temperature changes creates this amazing like diamonds on leaves effect. There's a joy in creating. It's indescribable. An expression beyond words. And I want you all to try it and express yourselves in ways that are comfortable and enjoyable to yourself. And now we're going to add some deep tones. It's almost like a crown in the middle. And all the energy is coming out from the center, just like the rays of the sunlight. Just like the rays of the sunlight. It's incredible to be able to capture action, movement in paintings. Almost as if the flower is moving, trying to convey something to the universe. And we're there to hear its secrets, to capture the moment. And I think it's trying to tell us it's very important to take time out of our busy lives to stop and smell the flowers. Just like as it is important as we breathe and we eat and we sleep, I think it's very important therapeutic, at least in my life, that we take time to create. Because if we don't, we don't regenerate our energy. At least that's how I regenerate my energy. So, till next time, this is the happy flower full of energy. And see you in our next episode.